What's going on guys, Canadian Greaser here. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering uh, Wranglers. Now Wranglers has been around for a long time, uh, same as Levi's, and I just did a video yesterday on Levi's. Now it's time to go over Wranglers and what I think about them. Now Wranglers has been around, like I said, for a long time, and they are uh, what I like to call, um, they're kind of like Levi's because you can work in them, you can dress in them. Now the thing with Wranglers is Wranglers is more meant for rodeo purposes. Now if you don't know what a rodeo is, I Go check them out you might you'll probably end up finding out what they are and what it is it's bull riding horseback riding uh saddle bronc riding all that kind of good stuff but anyways um uh, i'm going to be covering uh some of the jeans that i per currently own that are is wrangler related and uh, maybe you guys if you guys are in uh you know maybe western canada or wherever you are and you do encounter them i recommend checking them out they are uh, relatively a little bit cheaper than um, Levi's, uh, it's quite significantly actually, because um, any any type of Levi's, depending on what you get, can range anywhere from sixty to eighty dollars, uh, if not more than that. Some go for ninety to one hundred, even more. But Wranglers, uh, let's go. I'll start off with my first original pair, and I have them to this day. Um, the thing with these is that they do not make them. Uh, they made, they were very popular. I think back in like the nine like nineteen nineties. Uh, unfortunately, in two thousand and four, when I did my research, um, they do, they stopped making them. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I really think they're probably. I think well, they're owned by Wrangler, but they are known as twenty uh, X's. Now twenty X's do not make they do not do not make these anymore. Um, these are one of my favorite jeans. This is rodeo pants um i've had these forever um like i said unfortunately do, they do not make these anymore if you do come across them keep on hold on to them because i'd rather take care of these because like i said these are i'm not gonna lie these kind of make you do have uh like a butt if that makes any sense but they do um these are 20 x's uh you'll know that from uh what i like to call them is 20 x reds with the red band and um that's basically what they look like uh they got their little patch on their uh, front pocket but that's basically those are 20x reds i love these things to pieces i usually wear these if i am going out uh somewhere nice or if i got something to go attend to uh these are what i like to call uh kind of like more of your uh traditional go out uh kind of nicer type jeans next is the actual what i like to call actual wranglers now these are actual wranglers um these are meant for mostly like i said rodeo purposes same as the 20x's and uh these are like i said these are dark wash uh well they're kind of faded now but uh they they were dark wash uh these are a these are what are known as cowboy cut jeans cowboy cut jeans um or you can get the slim fit versions of them uh basically what cowboy cut means is basically it's it's a little bit more uh roomier in the legs and you get a little bit more, um, it's a little bit tighter in the uh, waist sort of area. So it makes, uh, if you put a belt on or whatever, it makes, your belt, it makes the belt look really good, especially if you are wearing a belt or Western Styles belt. But uh, these are 20, or uh, Wrangler, uh, just regular Wranglers that you can buy at uh, either your local Western store. Or if you guys have them, we have what is known as Lamleys here in Canada. Uh, in certain parts, I'm not sure if every, every province has it, but we have uh, Lamleys here in Canada. Uh, the next pair is uh, it's basically the same thing. Uh, basically, they are just the black versions of them or whatever. These are meant for, like, if you're going out, like, more so meant for going out. The blue ones are more meant, I like to call them more of the work type jean, because that's basically what I, like, if you're going out or rodeo, you're going to get them dirty regardless. Uh, but like, I like to use these for more of the kind of going out, sort of dressy, uh, looking good type uh, pants. Uh, the last jean that I actually, well, it's not necessarily a jean, but the thing with Wranglers is, that, like I said, is more of your t uh, typical type of dress type pants. And uh, these are what I like to call, these are uh, Wrangler Ranchers. Uh, these are meant for actually going out um, if you are like working in like the ranching type areas and stuff like that. Uh, these look absolutely killer. Um, they are also meant for if you're going out on like a, this is, I like to call these dress pants because that's basically what they are, but uh, you can wear these for work purposes. And uh, I do believe that if you're going to wear uh, Wrangler or Ranchers, um, I highly recommend checking them out. They look really killer, especially if you are wearing a good pair of cowboy boots. And um, yeah, so that's basically Wranglers for you. Um, if you do encounter any Wranglers or whatever, I highly recommend, like I said, I highly recommend checking them out. 
They are uh, well worth the investment, especially if you're wanting uh, a, lo a long lasting pair of pants uh, and you are into the rodeo or work type uh, pants. Uh, they are, like I said, they're one of the best. They are one of the best opposed to Levi's. Any other type of pants, I'm gonna have to disagree uh, because between Wrangler and Levi's, those are the two main ones that I'd recommend, especially if you are um, in the greaser style. Uh, one of, that's like I said, uh, Wrangler's has been around for a long time and uh, I highly recommend checking them out. They are affordable and they, um, they look just absolutely great, especially if you are in the rockabilly style. But anyways, guys, that's basically my video on Wranglers. And I uh, hope you guys like that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.